and I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. Hey guys, my name is comedian Orana Lopez, and as some of you may know, for the past three years, um, a lot of my social media has been just <laughs> ridden with hate-filled messages and cyber trolling and just a lot of mean and disgusting people uh, with a lot of mean and disgusting things to say intentionally targeting me and intentionally um, spewing hate speech and just hateful actions towards my way okay um, hurtfully I found out that my family was involved in a lot of that and my family actually has previously did a GoFundMe to raise money to help me um, when it actually went towards my sister's rent. So there's that. Um, yeah, I've completely fallen out with my family over them and their abuses of my fan base, my social media, um, making cyber accounts, troll accounts. Uh, under different names to harass me. And I put in an application for a specific, you know, um, television show because I'm trying to get us to be a family again. Uh, my former ex-husband, uh, well, former and ex is the same thing, but my ex-husband has also done the same. Several members of his family has done the same. Not to mention various co-workers uh, in the entertainment industry that I work in. Well, most specifically, um, it's been getting very targeted and going after various uh, websites that bring me income. And um, I was someone who used my Twitter account to uh, pretty much stand up against, you know, some injustice I experienced, but more importantly, um, trauma that I was hiding, right? Um, I'm not proud of everything I said and everything I did. And to be honest, um, I would have went about it another way. However, at that time, I was being triggered by several social media accounts privately targeting me, um, disgracefully saying all kinds of things about me, claiming that had I slept with Nick Cannon, I'd still be on Wild Out. Just, just a lot of disrespectful things that I started ignoring at first. Then the comedian in me was like, well, if I roast them, they'll stop. You know, they're doing this because I'm a woman and they think I'm just, you know, they can bully me and just talk to me any kind of way. I'm going to just start roasting them. And then uh, the roasting kind of worked, but then they multiplied. They teamed up and it became more people behind in the actions. And that became a problem and it became pretty much inescapable. Um, my family made plans behind my back. Um, in order to try to extort some of my co-workers and stuff like that um, to try to, you know, get money or whatever because specifically my sisters um, lived with my mother their entire adult life and she had recently passed and they weren't really accustomed to making their own money and making it in the real world. So they were looking for shortcuts, scapegoats, and all of that. I have no idea what they're doing now. We don't talk. I've tried reaching out to them. Um, to smooth out whatever differences we have, but they're not open to it. Um, but they are open to participating with other trolls on my social media. Well, everything came to a head about a month ago on Facebook where, you know, um, my Instagram accounts, Twitter accounts, everything keeps getting shut down and I'm being accused for cyberbullying when I'm really just blocking people who continuously make threats. towards me and I don't take kindly to being threatened especially by some invisible people on the internet that don't have the goal to come and see me personally and hash out whatever differences they have um there's several YouTube accounts there's an Arana Scams YouTube account there's a uh, Arana Reports YouTube account like this one lady from Louisiana who her entire account is about me and all of her material and hatred is targeted towards me and they started showing up in my podcast okay they started sending me voicemails on my podcast the podcast one of the podcast platforms i use i actually was streaming it on multiple platforms has a voicemail answering service and they were leaving me all kind of like you know not death threats 
I mean, they 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 crazy, but they weren't crazy to go that far. But just basically, you know, threats about harming me. That's what they claim. Uh, threats about snatching my podcast. Threats about snatching my YouTube. Threats about snatching all of my stuff. Okay, so there was one specific person that I felt was largely responsible for a lot of this because they were taking advantage of a power of attorney form that I gave them. I am now in the process of getting that completely revoked, so they should have no legal grounds, no legal rights to nothing, but they're not acting alone. There are several people who are coming after um, my various income streams because there's this agenda to try to keep me poor. And in the background, I've been applying to jobs. In the background, I've been putting out content that, you know, generates income. There are many things, okay, at this stage of the game that I'm trying to do that'll bring way more income. Getting, because what I'm currently getting is not enough to live off of. It's not even enough to pay rent and um, responsibly live as an adult or comfortably live as an adult, which... been used to doing since I was 17 and I'm 37 I I have been an adult earning income and taking care of myself since I was 17 years old I love social media I feel like social media is an excellent tool um, I used to really hate social media uh, because you know um, as a stand-up comedian I love being extroverted on the stage. I love pinning it up and waiting for my opportunity to perform, to release. And then when, I, when I'm when i off stage and when I'm off work, you know, I can retreat back into myself and enjoy, you know, my company or the company of the selected people I choose to be around. And being in the entertainment industry and with the popularity of social media, but also with social media being a pretty dope tool to promote practically anything and market anything. I mean, it really is wonderful. Um, it just became an inevitable thing I had to do. And more and more, I was being approached for projects where they were like, well, how many followers you got? And how much, you know, whatever. And so I took charge of that and started making social media a fun thing for me. And it totally got targeted and shut down and people were trying to silence me and threaten me. And it's still happening. Yesterday... As recently as this morning, okay, and I posted it on my YouTube page, www.youtube.com slash C slash A-A-R-O-N-A-L-O-P-E-Z. If you go to my community page, you'll see it right there of what I had to post. But it's, it's happened as recently as this morning, but people texting my numbers and making threads and, you know, calling me all kind of names and just cyber harassing me. One particular person has made themselves known um, in their harassment, coming at me in my inbox, claiming that I copyright infringed on them. It's absolutely false. Um, not only did I do uh, domain name searches to make sure that it didn't exist, because first of all, the name of the podcast can't be the same somewhere else. It can't have the same URLs and all of that. It, it will show up and get flagged and be like, this exists already. So that was the first thing. Um, and I created the whole podcast from scratch and got nearly 80 episodes done. And they were, you know, claiming copyright infringement or whatever. So I changed the name, changed the artwork, should have been the end of it. It was a pain in the butt to do, but I did it. Just because I just, I just want to do my thing and I'm sick of people harassing me. And then that person hit me up yesterday telling me how they watched my YouTube video and, you know, had all of this extra mouth to say about what I was talking about on my YouTube page in my live. Well, number one, why are they watching my YouTube page? Why are they watching my live? If this is just some random person that I copyright infringed upon their ideas, why are they watching me and cyber stalking me? That's number one. Number two, I blocked the person after they threatened to send me a cease and desist because I'm like, well, first of all, you have no grounds to send me that. This is a waste of my time. But second of all, you're trolling. Get out my email. I blocked them, and the emails were still being sent via Google, which I tagged Google in, and I was like, Google, I don't feel safe. I, I don't I don't like people coming in my inbox saying whatever they got to say to me, making threats, uh, giving me anxiety, stressing me out while I have a million other things that I'd rather focus on than that. And I blocked them, but somehow they're still showing up in my emails. How does that work? Who are they paying? Who do they know? Who is this person really? Because they emailed me from a mail.com account, which anybody can get, and it was legal at mail.com, which is like, okay, any lawyer or attorney company worth their weight would have an actual email account from that firm first of all or they would have a professional email with their name and so and so at law anybody can make a mail.com account sure an 18 year old 15 year old anybody so 
this person trolled me yesterday and I said, Google, I'm about to get all the women activist organizations involved. Y'all don't shut this shit down. I'm, I'm tired of people harassing me. I'm tired of waking up every day with things that I need to do to change my situation around so I can move forward and have a peaceful, happy life. And I'm literally minding my business on my laptop and I'm getting this in my mail. Not only that, I was getting cyber stalked to the point that people were watching my videos, calling police and, and sending them to my locations. The PTSD involved and the trauma involved in that alone is nothing anybody should be going through. So this person is threatening to take me to court over my content, my content, which now they don't even have any grounds for that because I changed the name and I changed the graphics. Then they say, well, first of all, we come up for that. Then we come up for your YouTube videos. You can't come for my YouTube videos. You just arbitrarily come in for my stuff when all of my stuff is about me and it's originally created. What are you even talking about? I have violated no YouTube policies. None. So who are you, random person? So if that's what you want, no problem. Let me get a lawyer. Let me take care of this. I am in the situation that I'm in. My hands are tied. And so now I'm reaching out to the community. I'm reaching out to um, pretty much anyone who has an interest in putting an end to this. Because you know what? And there's some, I don't want to, you know, talk too much about this because I have other plans. But, you know, we have to address this. This is not okay. And we should get to a point because now we're in a place where the internet ain't going nowhere, social media ain't going nowhere. But people should not be able to get be allowed with getting away with it. All this silent, in your inbox, gaslighting, and all this other stuff. But then when you put them on blast, here they come running like cowards. Oh, 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 you told, I'm going to sue, no, I'm going to sue you. Because who are you? And what are you doing? This is mental pain and suffering. This is criminal harassment, actually. Look it up. So I would like to charge this person, Michael Thompson, with criminal harassment. <laughs> <laughs>